are finally building mum's 1500 RAM. One, two, three. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Morning, welcome to a very special episode of Patriot Games. It's finally happening. What's right. happening, Ash? So, we are finally building Mum's D DT 1500 RAM because this is all that she talks about. Yeah, we're now we've got into a lot of trouble over the past 12 months about building the FJ, building the 2500, building another special project which you guys haven't seen yet, but you're gonna see really soon. Yep. Um, and Sarah's always, always talking about her old white DS 1500. Now, if you remember, go back to series three of Patriot Games, we built that car completely under the radar. Uh, we were in the United States when the boys finished it off and we surprised her uh, with the RAM. Now, history is repeating itself this week. Me and Sarah are off back to the United States tomorrow and we figured this would be the perfect opportunity. We've told her that her car is out uh, getting detailed today, so we're taking my car to the airport tomorrow. So the story's been perfect. We're yep. going for one week, seven days, yep. and you, with a lot of help, by the sharpest tool in our shed. Yes. I'm a very stable genius. Well, one of the sharpest tools in the shed, Ashton's gonna put this car together um, with Steve and build this for Sarah. We're not gonna go as crazy as we did on the DS though. Yeah. Right, and what's the biggest thing that's gonna be missing from this build? Big old supercharger. Now, now everybody's gonna ask that question. Unfortunately, with the new engine, um, you can't, ha haven't developed a supercharger kit for it yet. We'll go into that a little bit more uh, later on. But let's introduce somebody who's gonna be very imperative to this build. And he's very excited to be here. Are you excited to be here, Steve? Of course, man, this is great. I wanna get into it. I'm excited. Are you happy that I'm not here this week? Oh, so much. Yeah? <laughs> so much. Me and you? Yeah. Yep. Is he gonna yep. curious Dude, we're gonna build it our way. Did, did yeah. you two plan that you're gonna wear the same uniform today? Or? No, but we did. We kind of just happened. We are gonna put this thing together quite quick, so there's not gonna be a lot of a lot of camera time here. So Friday finish, we arrive back Monday night. Yeah? We'll be here Tuesday. Um, so let's make sure that we get the car detailed, get it presented for her uh, coming back in. Yep. Get it ready to go. Four days should be enough, eh? Four days with no trouble. Yeah, with no trouble. Well, that's me out. I'm off to the United States. I will see you boys in a week. Yeah? Good luck. Well, thanks, man. Cars on the hoist. Ashton's doing Ashton things. What we're gonna do, rip this front bar off, see what we can find, get it off the powder coat. I'm thinking safety yellow. I mean, it's black, let's put some yellow on it. That looks cool, I like it. I'll even need a pickle one for us. Pickle bash. Moe match the tray. Go satin. The problem with satin is if you're driving along and you get a lot of stone chips and stuff. Just paint it back. Hey, if you want to make the call, let's make the call. It's a mold crawler, let's be honest. Lucky FJ. Yeah, exactly. I am That's got satin firewood. Exactly, and it still looks good. All right, so we've seen the masterpiece. It looks beautiful, I love it. I don't know they did one for a GQ. It's not right animal. Plug, 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 plug. Now that this bump is off, we need to take all the wiring out of it because there's um, parking on my sensors and all that. Test fit all that into the other bar. Test fit that bar. Take everything back. Back off and powder coat it. Do 
the rest of this fry? Oh shit. We're gonna have to cut these bloody flares. I thought that was gonna go easier. Attempt one. The only issue is we are actually hitting the body. So we're gonna line it up. Do some holes. Okay, so the problem is because this is a prototype bar, the wings, which are these parts here, actually sit into the body. But if we cut it there and just tweak it out a little bit, then we're gonna have to come out a good five mil um, and then weld it back up, make it clean and then send it back through powder coat after we've put it back on the car and test fitted it. That's what we're gonna do. Jedi Master Yoda, you seek Yoda. Okay, so, We'll just have Pedro come over and have a quick look. On something like this, it's always good to get a second opinion, especially on someone who works with metal all the time. He's come up with the idea, instead of cutting it like I was going to, I'm actually gonna try and massage it out. It'll probably save a lot of time welding, and it's already on the car now. The fitment is quite nice, so we're gonna give that a go on stage one, and then we'll go on to another stage if we have to. Let's hope it works. Stay smiling. This is why we have people we have at this place. When 900 years old you reach, look as good you or not. Hmm? Next, we're going to pull it all apart and replace the piston rings you fried. <laughs> Should we just get a mount for the headboard made up? Why do you think of the headboard? Because we already have those mounts in CAD that we can just laser cut out. In a week? Yeah, or I can make one. Let's make one that goes right there. Now you can shape it in there. That's a bit out of my pay grade. Your pay grade is doing what you get told, dude. That's what an apprentice is. I will do whatever you have. Ask. Good. Come out like that and then follow that radius so it will sit right there. Okay. I believe in myself until it comes out to the world. Mad a savage in me back and I'm back and it happening, ready to blow. I remember doing deeds with Deji from the street, they left me on my own. Monkey asking me about how I got the P, I told her leaving Mama Grow. Then they're ringing off my phone. Then they're ringing off my phone. And that is what we call CAD, cardboard alien design. We're both slabs of your bare whacks in my condo where I bear tracks with a gang. Catch that for the gram, snap that for the man. These dudes to the most, no money in the hand. I ain't never had to feel away. Ran steady on the foot away. Occupation make it either way. Never worry cause I can. Back chat from the whack gang. Hook charge when they sack man. Passport when a milestone. Make space when the bags land. This must be a daydream. Max got me the mad plan. My team never lied on. Visit from the facts, man. He be riding on the way. I ain't got a lot to say. Oh, is that the tip? Oh. This thing better sound cool, otherwise I'm chopping it up. What I say, lots, but flop ain't what I'm on. Aim up, don't stop. We be leveling. Proceeds increase heavily. Don't need this man's energy. I be the one, be the one. I don't make a song to make a song. And the vibe is right. The mic let me onto the signs of light. I just make me strong in the line. I pick me first before I'm gone. I am. Alright, so I just feeded the baller exhaust. Um, Got everything mounted up. <sighs> Tips are on. We'll put this thing on the ground, start it up. See if we have to modify it. Hopefully we don't. You know, Sarah's, Sarah likes it loud. Okay, that was really cool. That was really cool. 
eyes, you see a victory. We ain't taking L's, death to our enemies. You see the drip on me, you cannot get with me. You cannot stop me. Sit back and watch me straight to the top. So what do you think, Steve? Oh, what type of... Left arm, I can't wait to get out of these. A big boy lift? Well, technically, we should be able to get a, a decent amount of lift. So, if we like wind up, it's like three inches, then we get uh, just like a six inch lift. If you wanted to do it like that, yes. Would that be a stupid thing to do? No. Yes. No. Are they. Sh they will. It will CV ride. CV angles would it love it. It will ride like a dog. Oh, the CV angles would Your be perfect. Your mum will right? kick my ass. It would love it. Ass. It would hit one She'd curve like, and just go bang. Steve, what awesome. the hell have you done to my car? And I'll be like, talk to your son. Talk to your son. He let it. What we're doing right now, we're going to release the pressure off the adjustable ring, and then we're going to undo the adjustable ring and put it down. So, technically we should be at two inches right now. So if we go up 25 mil, no, sorry. Yeah, if we go up 25 mil, we should be going down 50 mil. So let's just start off with a round number and we'll go from there. Send it through Kate and then slap her on. It's actually pretty good. Probably better than what I could have done. Thank you. That was but I'm a better grinder than a world. That was one of the nicest things that you've said today. Actually no, that is the only nice thing I did oh, have said come on. today. I've been nice to you all day. He said that we're work colleagues and not friends. And cameraman, make sure that that I just go on the cut. Just so everyone knows what type of person knows Steve is. You gotta spot me, G. So we're at the end of the day, we've got the king suspension in, just waiting for the upper control arms, we've got the rear airbags to go in tomorrow morning to set them up, we still have a lot to do, bull bars off getting powder coated, we're doing alright, right now we're, we're levelling out, we're doing alright, let's just see how we go tomorrow. What's up guys, so I'm here on a Tuesday Arvo and wow, so the boys have been working on mum's 1500 and ooh, looks like they got their new little shiny bits in there. And I heard that these boys did a bit of a uh, exhaust, so. Yeah. Okay, well, let's hear it, eh? Let me hear that hammer, baby. Hammer, baby. Hammer power. Good morning. How's it going, champion? So this morning I'm chucking in the new um, upper control arms because these ones are from Iron Man and they are caster and camber corrected for a three inch ish lift. But yeah, just chucking these controls, working on new cars is amazing. It's so good. <laughs> right, so this is a um, airbag man airbag system for a 1500 ram. Pretty much what the airbag will do is replace the whole 
rear coil, which will give us give us a adjustment on the pressure of these, which we will adjust according to what load we are carrying, if we're towing a trailer, etc., etc. So this just helps make sure that you always have the perfect ride height and ride comfort, no matter what's in your car or what you're towing. So it doesn't matter if your mum tows the tow hauler, the X3, the bike trailer, the car trailer with the FJ on it. Or not anything at all. It's just, yeah, it's just good. She just might like doing that 150 down the highway, just yeah. hearing that exhaust just So we got all the airbags in. I've just dummy fitted the airlines because what we're going to do, we're actually going to finish off the bull bar and then come back. We're going to lift the whole tray off. And once we fit out the tray, we've got a big tank to go in, airbag, air compressor, the whole works. But for now, because we're going to put it on the ground, I'm just going to put a little bit of air in it just to hold up the weight of the car. And personally, I just want to see what it looks like. I get safe to yellow one. Are oh, the bars on? That looks good. Um, there's a really fine line with um, with the front bars as to if it'll look good or if it's useful or if it just looks terrible. But this looks really good, and I like the. And I like the contrast of the texture and all of the curves and lines, everything fits really well and yeah, I couldn't be happier and I think mum's going to be very happy with it as well. I love it. lift it up now it's probably not going to be high enough for us to lift it off completely but we have airbags so we can just lower it down and we'll just drive away Cali lean just like the sunset just Cali lean now just you know just da, da, da. About to get the tray onto the um, onto the ram, and the perch troll owners are going on that side, and the troll owners are going this side. So because this is the heavier side. No, because I mean, Jack you just have more mass. Better, aren't we, Jack? It's just like those typing. His fingers are getting dirty. How cool keyboard hands? How how cool keyboard hands? Alright, guys. Okay, everyone's left, it's just me and Christian. We got the tray sitting on the ram. So we're gonna get that all bolted down. Christian's adjusting all of these uh, there we go. spaces, so they all fit. They so, yeah, they were a little bit too tight because of the powder coat. So we're going to get this thing all bolted down, mounted, we're gonna get these sides on, all of that, so. Yeah, that's the plan, and we aren't going home until it's done. Correct. All right. Phew. I bonk it. Ashton, what did we just get done? She's all Trays on. mounted solid after probably 20 minutes of trying to figure out bolts because this is the first DT ram that we've mounted the P-Core tray to, so I just had to work out a couple of things, but she's 
mint now. Yep. And yeah, she's mounted with six big old bolty boys. So now we're going to get tall boxes on, fill that gap, and then I think that that'll be it for tonight, yeah? Yes. All right, so we have Tyler and Shalashi here. Hey, Shalashi. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello, Tyler. How's it going? Good. All right, so we're chucking in the rear tall boxes. Just get the bolts in, mate. Yeah, just getting the bolts in on this side, and Shalashi is tightening it up on this side. Hey, buddy. Hello, buddy. Hello. Boxes on, boys. Fitted it up really easy. That was the easiest job we've had all day. Eh? Yeah. I mean, good. yeah. It's so it's good. it's going to be nice to go home now. What's the eating time? Uh, it is nine. It's nine. So, yeah, I think it's time to pack up. We'll come in tomorrow and we'll keep on going. But the plate's on. Equal plate. Another box, boys. Fun? Yeah, yeah pretty good. Yeah, good shit. We're out. It's guaranteed that I die legend. Yeah. Son, God, homie, I'm revving. Preach, just protecting my investment. Ask about me, integrity's not a question. Yeah. Let's go now. So we have the GME all mounted up, um, just in Shutter's center console area. Um, this is more of a personal preference thing, so we're not going to actually mount this handpiece anywhere just yet until mum, I can get back and decide where she wants it, but it'll go on this little um, a magnet mount, but yeah, it's more of a personal preference thing, so that's mum's choice, but it's all wide and done, so. Buddy, man. All right, so we're pretty much looking good. The definitely can cross off that train kind of be done. Jimmy in all wired up, finished. Of course, um, ball bars done, winches done, light bars done. So that was all. Tuesday and Wednesday, so all those jobs are done. We just hadn't really ticked them off. And then for Thursday, which is today, it was complete of the tray and canopy, which the tray is definitely a complete, and the canopy we just need to bolt down in the in the morning after we get the tray aside so we can make sure that, that all works. But that'll only be, what, an hour of work? Yeah, easy. Yeah. If the engineers have done their job, should be half an hour. Yeah, so, um, and then we go over to Bob Jane Team Arts. We get some new wheels and tires there for this thing. Um, don't and choose the wrong ones. Don't you choose I won't, the wrong ones. I won't. I'll make sure they're big, fat, and chrome. Yeah, so, yeah, we've done pretty well. So, tomorrow it's just a smooth sale because it's Friday. So, yeah. We're doing pretty good. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Dead to me. RIP buried. Moody Diddy Moya on the side ahead of me. Dead to me. RIP buried. Today is super busy. We've got all the trays to do. We've got to get to Bob Jane. You got to fit wheels and tires. You got to pick the wheels out. Hopefully they got them in stock. Yeah. Get them on the car. Yeah. You know what I do? I just relax, baby. And you just chill here, just a nice clean time. Actually, I got to clean up. Yeah. While you go and drive a nice built vehicle. Love you, Steve. Down. Square the canopy up, drill it, bolt it, go team go. Go team go? Go team go. Sweet. Where's the excitement of Friday? There's a lot of teasing of Ashton, but he is a good bloke. I mean, Am I really? he, bu he built the FJ49 with Christian. He's building his mum's car, learning as he goes. He's still going to school, doing his trade. And he's 18, he can go to jail. Let's Good. see where we go. Well, that was like, the nicest thing you've ever said to me. I really appreciate that.
So we are using a solar blanket in, instead of a panel because we really don't think this car needs a uh, solar panel on it all the time because this is a daily driver that will be driven every day so the alternator will charge up this canopy every day of its life. So if you're going out camping and you need a little bit of extra power, you can just plug in the solar blanket, job done. Yeah, I think it's it's a perfect mix of just like it's a nice color with like a nice uh, cool yeah. pattern, but it's not yeah. out there. We got one of these here. Let me find it. All right, let's see. Come here. So, what do we think, Mum? Yeah, yeah, good choice. Yeah. All right. All right. Feel the text. Yeah, I like it. Inch. I think it's. What do you reckon? I think it's perfect. Yeah. Nice one. Right. Yeah. Pull the trigger. Right. Yeah. Yeah, That's we'll good. Check it out, I think so. Awesome, That's man. Beautiful. Mum, yep. I hope you like them because if you don't, then I mean, I will. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> Tires. We're just trying out everything because of the range of Bob Dane TMRs. We can literally put everything on all of our cars. So I don't think we have a car now that has a matching brand of tires or wheels. So well, that's kind of cool. But yeah, just may as well give them a go and they look cool. And I know a couple of mates who have these, these wheels and tires. So yeah, may as well just give them a go. Enjoy that. Looks cool. Fresh back from the United States. <laughs> we had a good time over there. Yeah, it's good. Are you a little bit jet lagged? A little bit. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Great job! Ah, uh, yes! What do you reckon? Say thank you to him and thank you to him and don't say thank you to him or her. They did nothing. Oh my god! Anything, so. No, it looks sick. Good yeah, job. Cool. Yeah, it's cool, eh? Right? How many? How long did that take? Hours. Um, hours. Just, just smashed oh, it just out. How good's that? Twenty. Twenty minutes. Yeah. Just, just 20 quick minutes. twenty minutes. Oh, the rooms are good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were in influence. What do you think? Do we need to wrap her or not? Just keep her still. So the call was the call was made. Yeah. That's one of the things that we spoke about. And we were going to pull the chrome off and paint all black. But mm -hmm. just before I left, we kind of made the call. We'll do all the big build stuff. Yeah. And then all the finishing stuff's up to you. Yeah, cool. So now you can do whatever you want with colours, do whatever you want with wrap. If you want to delete the chrome, you want to leave a bit of chrome, it's your call from here. No, it looks good. Like, yeah, I don't know if I want to muck with it that much. And I honestly, I thought I wouldn't like the chrome, but... It, it doesn't. Yeah, nice. like it. yeah. yeah. that bar is sick. awesome. Oh yeah, the bar is so sick. Yeah. Show all the bits. Show me the bits. <laughs> well, obviously you got off-road animal. Uh huh. We fitted the biggest light bar we could. <laughs> it just fits. <laughs> it literally, it literally just fits. Too snug. Yeah. Um, obviously GME whip. Yep. Can't go without that. So half canopy. Yep. Exactly what I wanted. New mounts. So the shorter tray. So I think a lot of customers are actually doing this now, but yeah, it's all. Same. Integrated. Nothing really different here. So you can 
chuck everything in there. What, yeah. what inverters? Is that 1,000 more than this one or 15? I think it's a 15. 15. Yeah. So you can run a small yeah, hair dryer yeah. off that one, babe. Hmm? Hair dryer. Oh. Hair straightener. Oof! You can do oh. it would have been a nightmare. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hair like that's no fluke. There's a bit of work going on there, right? <laughs> you have rear airbags again. Mm-hmm. But we didn't put your compressor. Why are you smiling like that? Because I've come up with a good idea. This uh -oh. is my idea. <laughs> so normally your compressor was in here last time. Yeah. So you've got an outlet down here to pump up your tyres. Yep. But, but we came up with the idea in front of your canopy mm -hmm. is never used. Mm. So your compressor and your tank is in front of your canopy now. Mm. So you've got more room in your toolbox mm. and everything's so in there. That's where the blow dryer goes, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> You know, normally you have the bumper yeah. and your exhaust is out here. We did actually have these sticking out here, but with, in collaboration with Justin. It was Steve's idea, I just, I, I took it, and it was a good one. We Steve had two good on ideas on this build. You are an ideas man, Steve. Christian, yeah. give it a hit. You gotta hear this thing, eh? It, it sounds good, it sounds tough. Yeah. It sounds really but good. But you drive it no drone, eh? Yeah, I just drove it on the, um, on the highway and you could not hear it the engine oh, at all, push. like not at all, and then once we... Baller, so that's a, just a bolt on yeah. all stainless steel, like, and they sound mint. I haven't driven it yet, but so, when you yeah, when you got the wheels and tyres done, you really set on the highway good. like no yeah, drone, yeah, huh? it's perfect. And then, like, really? once you put a, your foot down, the thing opens up and sounds good. So, I just saw the part that I'm jealous of. So, if you see here, you have some nice King's, um, oh, King's um, bypass shocks, mm -hmm. which is amazing, and I am so jealous about them. But yeah, so they, they're something the, you didn't get. Yeah. They're the same, the same shocks we've got in the trophy truck. Obviously a little bit smaller, little smaller, but exactly the same shocks in the trophy truck. What did you say? 26 compression settings. Yeah, so you got 26. So right now you're on the middle of the back uh -huh. and a little bit softer in the front. So what we'll do, you'll drive it, tell me what you like, and yeah. then Justin will drive it, and then I'll try and find a happy medium. <laughs> we always need a happy medium. But the, no, the good part is, like seriously, like you think that there's there's a bit of wank value going on there, like having an adjustable compression, but the big thing is, for Sarah using it around town, we can get the thing dialed in, and you'll run it probably a little bit firmer, so you don't get a big body roll, and it's gonna be a little bit safer. Then when we go out traveling, when we get on the dirt roads, back all the compression right off, yeah? And you get a nice, Remember your first, when we built your first round, we took it across the Simpson, mm. and that front end wasn't right, it kept bodying me out because the valving was wrong on the shocks. Yeah. Now it's jump out the car, give it a couple of clicks. Okay. Done. Easy Job done. Sweet. And that's and they, so sexy. Yeah, and they just, oh, let's be honest. Have a look up the front, so, mm. Iron Man up the control arms as well, so to correct the car stuff. <laughs> how, how much lift did we end up getting? What, three inches? Yeah. Just mm. under three. Oh yeah, yeah, that does look good. And, oh, so it's tires are on the FJ? Oh, here we go. Two, two, you have okay. Um, I got something else you don't have. Yeah. <laughs> the wheels, I love them. I'm like frothing on the wheels. Yeah, I didn't cool. like them. So when we're in the states, you sent me through those pictures. I'm like, well, I don't know. Yeah, like I thought, like I may as well try out a new brand and a different yep. color. So and that's the advantage of being with Bob Jones T-Marts now. So the other thing, fuel tires. These guys over there are telling us they're a good thing now. This again, like we get to try all this different stuff now, so pretty much yeah, exactly. like every single car in the fleet. Every next year, car we has has different tires, different tires, and different wheels. We yeah. are trying out everything. So, um, well, look, my first impressions, looking at them, I think that tread pattern, that that tread block, I think they're going to be really noisy. Mm. Um, but we'll see, see how you go, see what you like with them, and. We'll give the feedback and we're going to give honest feedback, you know, with these guys from Bob Jane Team Arts. They want our honest opinion on what they're like on road, what do they like off road, what do they wear like. So over the next season, we'll keep we'll keep filling you guys in on what we're kind of finding at uh, the tyres that are working the best for us. Yeah. So that's that's pretty cool too. Yeah. Um, interior. Oh, I'm home. All right, so hard without a car. One thing me and Ashton were talking about is try to keep your car as clean as possible. Mm -hmm. So you don't see any switches on your dash, there's nothing in there. But yeah. 
if you turn the ignition on and look down in your center console, will Ooh. be your airbag gauge. That's neat. That's right, clean. Right yeah. above it. Oh, nice. Right there. Yeah. That's your spotlight. This is good. Oh, and also your um, jam air is down there too. Just... That is neat. I love that without everything down yeah. here. We kept your compressor switch. Yeah. There. Mm -hmm. And there's your airbags. That's better than over there. This is good. That is really good, really clean. Good job, team. Look, we go away for how long? What, wait, five days? Six five days. days. Five six days? Six, six days? Yeah, six. All right, what do you reckon? I'm Happy? really impressed. I honestly, like I knew it would be a good build. I didn't think that you guys would get that much done in that amount of time. So really impressed. And yeah, everything's neat, hidden. It's still really clean and it is a daily driver. So <laughs> I'm going to be. Are you going to leave me alone now about building your car? No. <laughs> All she would ever she would talk, talk about is how her car isn't built. It, is hey, it was a about. year. 12 months of every time one of us have made a modification to her. Go, when are you going to build mine? When are you going to build mine? Chuck it in the comments. Put it in right now. If this was yours, what would you do to it? What would you change? Pandora's box. Yep. What would you want to see a little bit different? And Ashton, crushed. Thank you, Steve, Matthew. brother, as always. Whoop. Sick job. Five days, mate. Awesome. Good job. Yeah, that was a good boys. Yeah, that, that was a lot of work. Oh, days. trust me, he worked. Yeah. He worked. Yeah? yeah. We were both open. You two went good? Uh, you did yeah. good. All right, and really to good. you, just for being you, <laughs> I love you. you You're amazing. You got a shotgun. You didn't do anything. <laughs> you moral support. Moral support. Yeah. Came, All right, we'll see you on the next knot. episode. It came in one knot. Oh, he did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he did. You actually did? Yeah, yeah. me and yeah, on the and Oh, you actually. did tell yeah. me that. Oh, I forgot, sorry. Yeah. Wednesday, we, we the train, traveled to all Oh, thank you. With all the boys. <laughs> yeah, so I did kind of help. All right, <laughs> we'll see you next episode. Yeah. Check out the Ram 1500.